A ride home from the Bulls game ends with several kids injured when their bus went off the Indiana toll road. As CBS 2's V Win reports, the 82 year old driver is now facing charges, accused of driving under the influence. Marissa and Aaron, a coach on the bus, described what happened as two minutes of chaos. At least one adult and four children were taken to area hospitals, including this one right here, for minor injuries. A group of more than 40 kids, part of the Above the Rim Youth Basketball Foundation, went to the Bulls game last night. They got a chance to go down a half court and even appeared on the Jumbotron. Akeisha Daniels was waiting to pick up her 15 year old son at the village shopping center in Gary when she got a phone call. My son was actually FaceTiming me outside the bus and I said, Xavier, where are you? And he was like, oh, the bus was in a crash. And I'm looking like, a crash where? The crash happened in the eastbound lanes of the Indiana Toll Road just before the Klein Avenue exit when something happened to the driver. State police say he drove the bus up and onto the embankment. Everyone on board was tossed and thrown from their seats. I was like, oh my God, if this bus would have went, if he would have been going a little faster, the bus would have ended up in water. State police say the 82-year-old driver was arrested and taken to the Lake County Jail on four charges of operating while intoxicated. One of the coaches woke up to see the bus veering off the road. I got up and I kind of grabbed the, I grabbed the uh, bus driver and I told him, I was just screaming in his face, stop, stop, stop. The coach says his foundation rented the bus from Jesus Saves Missionary Baptist Church in Gary. The bus and driver came together. Other parents are just thankful everyone is okay. Things that could have happened. Coming all the way from Chicago over here, you know what I'm saying? But that's all I kept saying to myself when they said on the side of that bus, Jesus saves. Oh, Jesus saved everybody. Reporting from Gary, V1, CBS 2 News. CBS 2 News reached out to the church for comment by phone and email. We are still waiting to hear back.